Let's talk paint palettes. I, the most questions I get asked on my lives every Sunday at 11 are about how you figure out a really cohesive color palette for your home. So I'm going to just show you what I've done and some ideas to help you. I take a saturation level, so a certain depth of colour, and then every room in my house is painted a different colour, but they're all the same tonality. For example, I've got Madison Grey here. Oh, I've got Bedford Brown. Then I've got Madison Grey. Then I've got Pickle. Then I've got Crosby. And then I've got Hudson Black. Now, do you see how they're all the same kind of tones? You could also add in Ember if you want a little bit more warmth. And if you wanted again to take that orangey pinky color, you could also go out back. I'm not, for example, throwing into the mix, although I will with my accessories, this, because it feels very cold. So all of these earthy colors are the same depth. I might, with my accessories, add in some lighter tones, and I do this all the time. If I'm going for a lighter tone scenario, I've got, what have I got here? The hemp's the baked clays, the kelps, all also really beautiful. You could add in a lovely, is that fog? Fog there. So again, it's all the same depth of colour, but each room is a different colour, and that's what brings real personality to rooms. And then, of course, you can accent with lots of different colours, but what I wouldn't do, and this is a very personal thing, is I wouldn't suddenly shove in a green like that. I want it all quite earthy and warm. So this is kind of, that's my palette in my house, and then I just need to add in a kelp, and then it's just beautiful. Beautiful, sludgy, earthy, bottom of the lakey, love it.